Well, as you see, we have some changes coming. <laughs> the, uh, I had a buddy of mine was sitting, well, I was always mentioning the console I didn't dig. I wasn't feeling great. And until somebody else sat in the truck, they kind of, or sat in the driver's seat anyways, they kind of pointed out that it's not right. <laughs> I was playing it off, but no, uh, turns out they're right. It's like you always need somebody else to sit in your stuff to tell you there's something wrong. If you sit there at an angle, you can see how my headrest and the steering wheel do not line up, to which tells you that your butt's not in the right spot. So I figured I needed to move my steering column over more and I would kind of fix the problem, but... Well, not so much, because if I do that, then my pedals are wrong and it just turns into this big huge gong show. So, the fix is I'm going to go dig around in the kids' scrap cars and see if I can find a set of bucket seats. I'll probably do a buckets in a console, that way I can move the seats in a little more. That said, that adds a huge bonus because this is actually the rear seat out of a Silverado, like a pickup truck, and it fits super nice. And it does what I wanted it to do when I flip the seat up. There's all this room, so A, I can put, you know, like a foosball table back there or a, a hawk, you know, one of those mechanical hockey things. <laughs> But uh, anyways, that goes up and then like if my dog or I wanted to bring some, haul something, I got all this floor room. So I like that really well. All I'm going to do is just be lazy about it. I'm just going to hit Amazon and just order some seat covers. So everything's just kind of a generic color. So I'm going to do some seat shopping. I noticed the van out there and it might have a good enough seat <clears throat> that's nice and tall. I don't like that it's powered, but whatever. We're going to give that a shot, try it out, then maybe I can at least put a console in the middle. Maybe just something useful. It's like you say, I like a bench seat, but who's going to sit in the middle, especially with a stick? <laughs> just get walloped in the junk all the time? Nope. All good. So, let's go shopping. Well, i got to get this thing out first. It's a pain in the butt. But it is a good seat. It'll work really good for something. So, it'll hang out here for now. Then we'll find something to throw her in. Ooh, on a side note, I got my batteries in. Uh, I was originally going to do a bracket up here with a piece of angle going across, but because they're so close to the posts, I want the battery flipped out this way. Well, not that I, I need it out this way. It just happens that my battery cable works right there, so. <laughs> so it's going to stay that way. So I'm going to make a bracket off the top just to hold the battery in place. Uh, the original cable I had from the Dodge truck swings across nicely. Um, I'll be able to anchor it up to a body mount across, so then I can go swing over to the other side, charge the other battery, and then my grounds I'm just going to loop here and you know kind of do the the multiple loops to everything. So cool. So basically I'm going to get those all done later. Yeah, just a whole lot of scatterbrain stuff going to go on today. For now, I'm going to try to change out my seats. So I'm going to get this sucker out and piled with that one. So this one's gonna be my first candidate. Seeing his scrap is up, he's kinda starting to bring stuff in, but uh, these ones seem okay. Being a van, they're kind of tall. So let's start with these. And uh, if they don't work out, I move on to something else. But at least I can take the headrest off and, you know, all that jazz. There should be a lot of adjustability in them. And if they're no good, well, I can find another set like them if I like them. Okay, that's a fail. Only because I didn't realize the seat was like completely hammered out. So, there's no point putting the effort in if I gotta take the darn thing out again. Moving on. Find something else. Well, I think I'm maybe gonna try these seats. I don't know why I have such a hatred for them, but... You know, I guess I hate because the seat belt's in it, but... Is that a bad thing? Probably not. It's probably best to put some seat belts in it. This seat's not 100% perfect, but at least it's kind of common and I can probably find a good driver's seat. So with that said, 
I'm going to sit here and struggle with this for a little while. Take this seat out. See how it fits. I mean, if the back seat fits in the truck, the front seat should work. I will get my console that I want. My middle seat if I ever need it. So, this might work out fine. Again, I don't know why. Just because it's got the headrest, that always seems to be a thing for me. <laughs> it just wrecks the weird look of an old truck, but... Let's go with it. Let's pull her out and uh, see how they are in the, uh, the big brute there. Well, these seats are great. Don't take the look, but I'll take the function over the looks. They kind of got adjustability everywhere and everything's mechanical, so I'm super happy about that. Less power stuff to worry about. Even as they sit, it actually sits nice, it's comfortable, I dig it. Now I have matching front and back. That's a win. So, only problem is, is the seats have to, uh, they're really close together. So the cool console doesn't work. But there's a lot of other little weird consoles, like something to fill the space. So I'm gonna go dig around, see what I can find out there yet. I'll throw this back out there. But uh, I know some of the trucks that he's got, or cars and stuff, have a smaller console. So it'd just be nice to have something for some storage between the seats. It'd be really nice to have an armrest. I don't know if they'll be big enough for that, but uh, I'm gonna go give it a try. Go hunt and look. my day pulling interiors out <laughs> oh, it's power dang it I really didn't want power ah well whatever I do like these seats better even though this one's half buggered I'll figure that out but they have armrest look how nice that is so I'm gonna strip these ones now and use these seats because, well, I don't know. I like them better because the armrest, really. So I felt like I spent my whole morning grabbing seats. Terrible. Anyways, we are good to go now. So I have a complete matching set, front, back. These ones have armrests in it, so that's nice. I like that. I couldn't find anything that fit my console needs. I'd like to have a small console, put your insurance, whatever, like garbage in there, and then uh, have a couple cup holders would be great. I might have to make something, we'll see. But uh, this seat's a little buggered on the bottom, but I can just replace the bottom pad if I find one. So that'll be good. I seam sealed up the back of the cab. So this is all sealed. 
And because uh, all I'm going to do is probably put some insulation and then like rubber mat down. I don't need fancy carpet in here because I just don't have good experience with carpet in a work truck. So yeah, we're going to find some kind of rubber matting. I'll probably put some insulation down or actually I'm going to mount the back seat first and then I'll do that. I have to figure out roughly where the seat's got to go because I need those little hooks up here for the back of the seat to rest in. I wouldn't mind it when the seat's in the down position that the uh, the hooks lock, but when it's all the way up, if I can unlock it, that way I can fold this and put stuff behind the seat versus trying to tuck it under the seat. So that'd be cool. Whether I can do it or not, we will find out. So I'm waiting for this to dry for a bit, so I'll go in the house, have a cup of coffee, and then uh, be back out. All right, well the back seat is in. I made my mounts, kind of showed. I flush mounted the uh, studs and buzzed them in. So now we got a foldable seat. Let's see if I can do this one handed. I didn't put these in because like the seat's fine. It doesn't seem to need it as far as the seat is concerned. I think to sit on, I don't know. I could be wrong, but then at least I can do that and I can put stuff behind the seat. And if the dogs or I need the room, I'll just have the floor all open and I can do whatever I need now. So that's cool. So now, clean up this stuff and I'm going to make the mounts for the front seats and get them in. And yeah, I'll have to figure out whatever I want to do for a console yet, but let's get started on there. Oh yeah, I didn't show. I started stripping all the gauges and stuff out because I want to strip all the old wiring out. I'm going to be running all new wiring in the truck. So I uh, started the process of that. So I'm going to keep zinging through it. I have the tack from the other truck. So I'm going to run that tack because the numbers are all good and it's a mechanical tack. So that's a super cool win. I just have to find the doodad for here because apparently the industrial engines I can take this filler off and the tack drive just goes straight onto there and then you get a different valve cover with the oil fill on it so that'd be super cool but for now I'm just gonna bolt some seats in get that mounted and then and then and then maybe I'll start doing some some work here get some of this sorted out Basically my goal coming up here is I want to at least get this truck to drive in and out of the shop. So try to get her mobile again, get my batteries hooked up, all that jazz. So yeah, well, seats first.
wiggled around, buggered around with all of this. I have like now like this weird power seat thing. <laughs> but anyways, the feels good. It's comfortable. Got an armrest. Again, my console area is like really small. It's like I could probably run a Cavalier console or something weird like that. I wouldn't mind something with a cup holder, but we'll figure that part out as we go here. The back seat is in. That one's good. Lots of space everywhere. Not so much sitting in the back. Feels like a modern truck as far as cab room for the back seat, but I'm okay with that. So, before it gets dark, I'm going to uh, go grab these other wing window parts so I can finish that up tonight. And then, uh, yeah, I gotta dig that out. What else do I gotta do? I don't know. We'll start with that. Those gotta get done, so let's finish those up and see where we're at. They're out. <laughs> Look at that. There's one. I didn't even need to bring tools. Must be one on the other side yet. somewhere I'm not seeing something It look like I only got one. I do have one more place I can look. I have one more truck, which is my garbage truck. But it might have some bits and pieces that I need. When it comes time for my tailgate, this is what I'm going to be cannibalizing. <laughs> uh, I hope they I hope for that. Use the broken one. It still has the nub, but yeah. I'll take this one. <sighs> Funny story about this one. This is the truck I think that started my whole messing around with old junk. Uh, I bought this off a buddy of mine. Actually, I bought a couple trucks. I had this and a '56, and. Uh, but this was the first one I ever modified. So I had done, I think it was like a four inch chop on it. So this is my first chop I had ever done on anything. And uh, it had the original motor. I got the motor running, but I had no brakes. And then I had to deal with glass. I had no idea how to deal with all that. And 
they kind of sat. And the guy I bought it from bought it back and it went through a few people and through, through some horse trading, I got it back again. I don't know why, I had no intention to build it again at that point. Well, actually I did. I had it on a, a four by four, like a 90 Silverado kind of thing, but it was an extended cab, so I wasn't sure what I was gonna do. And then it was kind of high and I didn't like the look of it. And then it's like one of those projects just, yeah, went on the back burner. So now it's at the end of my driveway and I put my garbage in the back so the birds don't pick at it, but. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, the front was all rotten and this was kind of what I had done to try to make my own grill. Uh, I don't remember how long this was. This was like way back into my old garage across from my house. Long time ago now, but it's still here. It was kind of cool. It's kind of the, like I say, one of the first things I'd ever worked on. And it's still donating parts, so that's cool. This is, my truck is going to need this tailgate. It's not in great shape, but it still has the international script and, uh, and it's a tailgate that I do not have, so. But I'll come back for that later. I don't need it right now. For now, I just need my wing windows. So I have something to do tonight. That's sweet Pontiac, eh? If you haven't seen what that started us, I'll put a linky to the video somewhere here. <laughs> Shameless plug. All right, we went and dug around in the shed. I found this joint that actually fits over my steering. So that is uber cool. So some, I'm gonna adapt this shaft to this. So we have some steering functionality as far as this thing connected to the steering box. The, I got my other windows. I went back and grabbed the other window because, well, Frankly, why work harder? So all this stuff that's buggered here and in here, you've seen how I did all of those pie cuts? Well, I could just as well use this piece in there and I'll have everything I need. So, or even this one, who knows? I'll use whatever. No, probably that one. Cause I'm gonna use that edge over here to finish this thing up, so. Easy peasy. Then maybe I can adapt this on to fix my broken ones on the truck back there. Not that these things have, they don't look like they're doing so good either, but they do work. So I don't know. I've never actually replaced one of those, but I can't imagine they're hard. So I'm going to go inside, maybe have some supper, just red a veg for a little here and then uh, come back at her. Seeing how I got all my stuff ready, I can kind of give her a bit. I might hit the shed one more time and try to find a, a master cylinder for this thing yet. Hopefully I got something. That'd be great. Then I can actually uh, start thinking about doing my brakes and hooking these lines up and stuff. That'd be super cool too, but that might be later this week's plan. And then I have to modify the rad, but I'm trying to find an intercooler. I was looking for the Ford ones from the old six liters. I measured it up, it should be pretty close, so I was gonna use one of those as my intercooler, but all the people I've been talking to, nobody's getting back to me, so eh, guess we'll see. For now, I'm gonna look for a master and then I'll be back later.
Well, we got the one side done. The struggle was real, but uh, yeah, we got roll up glass. So that's untouched, that's still the stock glass. This one, I'm gonna have to find some rubber. The one off the other trucks are not the same, so I'll need to find a little bit of rubber to put in there off something. Uh, the windows do open, but the tensioner thing is kind of buggered. So I had to cut a piece of glass, so at least it looks like something. But uh, yeah, now I get to repeat everything over there, which, you know, should go better, but. <laughs> I was definitely struggling with that one, that's for sure. So I'm just gonna hammer through that. I'm gonna get it done. I tried to film what I could on here, but it was, I don't know. It's uh, It was a hard film. Well, this one just boogied through pretty good. I think it only took me a half hour to do this one. Still gotta find this plug. I know I got it somewhere. But uh, this one's in. Uh, this is bust. I'm gonna see if I can retrofit something else on there, but it's like a different design, so I don't really know how this stuff works. So it might be what it is. Might be what it is. <laughs> All right. Well, now I'm gonna go. Yeah, I've got the same problem up here. I gotta find a little schlong of something there to fix that. Finish up that gap. Okay, well, I'm going to template this up so I can make my glass. Uh, hopefully I got some scrap laminate around that I can use. And then at least my cab is kind of sealed up, sort of. Other than all those pinholes I still have to weld in there. <laughs> Alright, let's do this.
Well, I rushed on this one and then I broke it. <laughs> I think I actually have a little schlunk of something in there, so that kind of buggered it up, but I don't matter. I'm going to get some new ones made anyways. These ones are, um, they got a green tint. They were the from the windshield out of the Dodge. So it was just whatever. It was just a bit of glass I had. At least there's glass in it now. For now, it'll be fine. This side came out better. So, like I said, I just need the rubber stuff on top. It'll be golden. They're not perfect, but hey, now we got windows in there, right? Look at that. Other than that one's green, but I'll switch that up later. Cool, so our doors are together. They function. Mint, mint, mint. Well, that pretty much kicked my butt all day. I think I got two sets of seats out. I kept one. Ended up with the one set with the power and whatnot. Right? So. That'll be good. I just need a new top for the one. But at least their power, they work. This all works. I have to work on my steering and stuff. I think that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Steering brakes. I couldn't find a master. So I'm going to get my column tomorrow probably. Get the uh, the uh, this bracket inside there. The brake bracket. Get a mount for it up to the cowl. Because when you push the clutch, you can see a lot of flexing right there. So it's only to the firewall. There's a need to have a, a brace up in the front here yet. And then I'm going to make a bracket and a mount for the steering column, one for the firewall. Uh, yeah, can do all of that jazz. But I think for this one, it's where I'm going to leave her. As always, thanks for watching, guys. We will. Uh, Catch you on the next one. Somebody likes a seat. Hey, is that your new home? Can I keep that in the shop for you? Hey, Pablo's got the futon upstairs. You're gonna keep this one down here? At least you grab the bunk one. Hey. Right.